kid trying to sell me cookies, I'd punt him down a fucking sewage. That's fucked up, man. He's been through enough. He's so creepy. No, I, I love the kid because he's such an amazing actor. Because he's just creepy as fuck. But you hate him because he's a Cub Scout. No, no, no. I don't hate him because he's a Cub Scout. I hate him because he is creepy as fuck. But you just said if he tried to sell you cookies, then you'd Oh, yeah, I would, <laughs> punch him down the, yeah, I would punch him down the drain. That's so fucked up. I'm so glad Why? we started the podcast already. <laughs> we didn't start the podcast. Well, yeah, yeah welcome to the Black Young Talking Gamers podcast. <laughs> No, because I've been looking at my my email alert, and I'm like, he didn't go live yet. I it did. It just now popped up. And I love you. It was, I was the perfect time. The whole time. I was like, oh, I was egging you on. I was like, Kenny started it. Kenny started it. I'm just gonna keep going. I was going. pretty sure. I was watching, and I'm waiting, and I'm like, no, nah, we're not on yet. Like, I always have the page head. open for the stream. Like, when I see it change, it's like, okay, it's on. Well, yeah. So, uh, who's gonna do the introductions today? Uh, Mark's turn. What? Yes. <laughs> Makutsu slash. I think it was uh, Nick's actually. He hasn't done that. Uh, well. uh, it should no, totally be the guy who uh, would punt kids I'm down. I'm Nick, and <laughs> uh, I would punt a child down a drain if he was creepy as shit. Because Nick doesn't eat cookies. Because uh, I don't. No, popcorn. Popcorn. Girl you Scouts eat popcorn? sell uh, cookies. No, no, no. Girl Scouts sell cookies. Uh, Cub Scouts sell popcorn. That's how it works. Bottom line, I would I would punt a scary child into a drain. Would you not? I mean, um... oh sorry, <laughs> introductions. So yeah, I'm I'm a <laughs> slash uh, Nick slash puncher of children, breaker of chains, first of his name. Uh, adjacent to me because I have to double check who the things are is Mark Kanananananananan the man, also known as Commander Cluck Cluck, our PUBG <laughs> aficionado and. <laughs> Dude who doesn't quite apparently pumped down children bearing popcorn gifts. Listen. Okay. After him is uh, Mr. It's acceptable for Nick to punt children because it's Nick punting children, not me. Loha, Mr. Loheezy, the heasiest of the heasies. And then our normal host who enjoys putting me on the spot as a child punter, Mr. Blackatron, the Blackaman, the Blackatron. And the bestest buddy I've got over here, too. And we are Black and Yellow Taku Gamers. We may or may not condone the punting of children. No, that's just you. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Welcome to not Podcast 37. I don't know if my stream uploaded, but Podcast 38, User. where we will be addressing our final thoughts on the wonderful summer of 2017 which we said damn well in the beginning was going to be shit. And, and lo and behold, surprise, <laughs> it's shit. It's, it's hot there were shit. a few good things it's, in there, though. It's hot there shit. were good things. A few little gems. Yeah, a few oh, polished kernels in that uh, horrid, horrid shit. I... Yeah, I don't know, man. I found one diamond in we there. We walked in with this season, and I came out with a... Um, first impression that I was not going to like anything. And then I walked out with finishing probably like six series. Maybe six. I want to say six. It, it, yeah, it's up there. Like these four. What else? I think I finished some. Yep. Oh, yeah. I finished like seven. Yeah. Um, it was oh. a good season for me. Oh, eight. Sorry. Eight seasons. Once I eight catch shows. up, I'm probably going to get to seven ish. Yeah, when I finish, I'll be at six. So oh, nine. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, nine. Okay. Let's uh, uh, let's talk collectively of what we actually finished because I'm pretty sure what we finished was what we all finished together. Not true. No, yeah, so, not true. I, just, I know what I Mark know talk know. first yeah. because he has a show that none of us watched. Made yeah. the best. Shit. Yep. The greatest. Wait, did Nick? Did you start that or no? Nope. Not yet. It is so good. Uh, <laughs> it's on my docket. It didn't end with like a conclusion because there's obviously more source material to go with it. And uh, from what I've read, the ending was slightly anime original, but it kept true to the actual story. Ish. Hmm. Like they they had a couple extra scenes in a montage that were new. Mm -hmm. 
It sounds uh, like that that happened uh, a couple times this season. Yeah, but uh, it is such a good like show. Like the entire story, the world that it that creates, it really draws you in. And I'm not talking because it's a giant hole in the wall, or hole in the ground that you just want to like look into, but. <laughs> Like the characters in it are some of the best characters I've seen in anime. And really? Just the adventure is just one. Uh, it literally gives you everything. Like, it's all there. Uh, hmm. You get the feels, you get the adventure, you get. What else do you get from anime? You get the excitement. <laughs> 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 what kind of other feelings do we get? <laughs> So Mark has become me for the day, where uh, he forgets how feelings work. Yeah, and what interaction is. But at yeah. least I don't punch children down drain walls. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that child asked for it. See, <laughs> in this situation too, is the fact that Maiden Abyss does have children. So. Yeah. 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 Creepy and children. Aren't they creepy too? No, no there is dying children. The art style is actually pretty simple. Oh. It's very simplistic, but. Like, everything else is, like, super detailed. Like, the monsters are just, like... You, you actually get, like, creeped is out by looking CG? at them. No, it's not. It's hand-drawn. No. It's a very nice... It's It looks cel-shaded, actually, to me. Is it not cel-shaded? Yeah. Um, You're cel-shaded. No? No, yeah. it's not. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, um... The face. It definitely... It's... It, not very many anime like get me to read the manga, but this one did. Interesting. Um, so I was gonna what... say sh shameless plug real quick. Uh, Mark's article on that was actually very interesting, and I advise you to take a look at it. It'll probably yeah. convince you too. And spoiler alert: Yo, Mark two. names this. <laughs> Mark names Made in the Abyss the anime, anime of, the season. of the season. Of, of the he did season. say this the after season. watching Recreators, and Recreators he isn't counting. Well, so I'm I'm not counting Recreators because it's two core, and I think it more deserves Anime of the Year versus season. Mm -hmm. And fair enough, fair enough. I feel like they shouldn't win. Like you're still wrong. Both but fair enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, Maiden Abyss will never be considered Anime of the Season because I don't think anything on anime strike will be considered anime of the season or anime of the year unfortunately and yeah. i i truly believe that a lot of shows that aren't on crunchyroll are like worth everyone's attention and it's just not gonna get there unless they're stacked you're, it's stacked against them it's unless you are you know are pirates no Okay. Yar, um, so in Made in Abyss, is there anything that like any drawbacks? Um for you. It had a really slow ramp up. Like the first three episodes were um it built up really slowly to the actual like start of the adventure. Because so, world building? Yeah, it was like a crap ton of world building in the beginning and you didn't really see much of what they're gonna get into until like at least episode five or six which is like halfway through the season already i heard a lot about like the kids and how was it like one strong and the other one smart essentially yeah one's really smart with the whole cave rating thing and the other one's basically a cyborg hmm. okay and Remind are they me, developed is developed this... well? Hmm? Are they developed well? Like characters? Yes. Yeah. Yes, oh. yes. Okay, I was like, in what sense? I, 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 I was oh. like, wait, <laughs> yeah, what's 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 I didn't want to well, say that. that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, I kid you. Uh, age is on the clock, so... <laughs> Shut oh. your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Holy shit. Remind oh. me, is this the is this the show we were talking about last week that had a very JoJo style description where you were like, Oh yeah, the mermaid did something and he got eaten by so, like no. what the hell was no, it? No, 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 a synopsis no. on something? That was uh no was Komodo Friends. Yeah. That, Komodo Friends, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck show was that? This is the one I talked about when uh we had the guest on a while ago. Uh, the one with the corpse Lauren. sweeper. 
Yeah, so. when Lauren was here. I talked about it. I mentioned the Corpse Weeper, which was a monster that imitates the sound of its mm. prey to draw yeah. more of its prey closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting triggered. It's definitely worth a watch, to be honest. Like, I'll give it a shot. I don't shot. care how you watch it. Just I watch wanna, it because yeah. it's that good. So, yeah, Mark, I need to understand this. And I swear we're not recording or anything, but uh, are you telling these people to pirate? <laughs> do what you've got to do. It's, uh, it's up for I, interpretation. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> watch it somehow. Any means uh, necessary. When, and, when, you, when you find the time to be able to watch it. All right. All right. And so, uh, to, to Mark's credit, yeah. uh, on that on that chart we have, it is number four in popularity. Yeah, Indeed. yes, it is. I'm sure. So before we start talking about all of the different shows we're all watching, and I, I do want to let like Nick talk about his uh, anime of the season, Hajime no Gal, but you know, <laughs> before we do that, I do want to mention that this popularity chart changed a lot since the last oh, time yeah. we've seen it. And oh, yeah. with gamers being number two, that is huge. I did not That's, expect that at that all. That was fucking not when I saw that man. just now I'm like, who's been man. fucking with these charts? Yeah. And Trash. like I I already knew that um Classroom of the Elite was like number five. And that shocked the shit out of me like last week when I found that out. Because I just couldn't see it initially. I was like, why is this show so popular? Um like I don't think it's anything like great. I don't think it's like anime of the season i think it's like something i wouldn't even suggest to friends i wouldn't be like hey you should watch it's, classroom of the week it's just like it's it's, it's very yeah it's it's i feel like it's a little above average to me but i don't i don't know about it being but it's the characters up there it's, it's the it really is like i i mentioned in my article how it's only the main character that saves that show like especially Richard, at the end yeah especially because i i took it as a like because they do do they do do. Um, <laughs> do, do. <laughs> they <laughs> they turn it into basically three arcs, and there's the beginning arc where it's like the first three episodes where it's like, um, trying to pull you in here, and you know they kind of cheat their way in there a little bit with what's her face, but nothing ever happens from that. And then the second arc is really really bad. I hate it. Mm. I really hate it. Um. And then they have a fan service episode because they all go to the pool. Which and the guys that's have... why I dropped it for like three weeks. I yeah, like, they, they go this. to the pool and then these these guys have like a secret mission to set up a camera in the girls' locker room. But then all this fucking bullshit happens and it's like, this is so fucking pointless. I thought and it was then, hilarious, fine, to be honest. Fine, I was okay with it. Give me a couple <laughs> examples of this fucking bullshit. Okay, so of bullshit, it's quite So there's like four, four or five main guys, right? And they have a secret plan. They're like, invite everybody to the pool. We're getting everybody into the pool. So once everybody's outside already changed and, in, in, you know, out playing and stuff, we'll have all these people, like, switch out and do secret, Uh, you know, they have their own objective to pull off. There's, like, one lookout. There's one specific lookout. And then there's another guy. He goes in. He's, like, oh, he sets up, dresses as a janitor. He fucking does all this shit. And then, like, somehow, like, the other higher-ranking classes come through, and they're, like, the fuck are you doing here? And then they start fucking fighting with each other in the hallway, so the guy that's stuck inside can't come out. And it's it's a lot of fucking bullshit. It's hilarious though. I, I won't lie. I I laughed a lot at that. But it's, oh god. Uh, teach yeah. his own. It's yeah. And then it's, it's okay. And then the the final arc, they have one setup episode, and then the last four episodes is the final arc. Hmm. It is, it is what that show should have started with. To be honest. So, since you watched it, and you've already wrote it, wrote about it, but what would you give it out of 10? Uh, I hit it with a 7 on my anime list, but I think it's it's closer to a 6.5 to me. Because of, like, it, it had, like, a specific route they wanted to go. But I really feel like the first half was, like, trash. And the, the latter half, the very final arc... It was a big, um, I, I guess. Six. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a big. As I it was honestly it was only a seven because of that last arc. Mm. Um. 
it was like, well, taking our four classes, A, B, C, and D, and we're throwing them on the island. They're like, you guys fucking survive on that your own. That island shit was what? stupid. It was I like, it, it was. Every single thing about it. It was literally out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. Mad random. And like, they, you know, they, they, they phrased it as like, oh, this is a test. You guys can earn points if you're in first place while you do all these objectives under all these specific rules. And then, so they kind of like, they do this thing where they try to hint at certain things where you're supposed to catch on to. And then all this other bullshit happens, like, you know, warring factions and shit like that. And then like uh, inner tor- turmoil between class D and then, and then uh, the supposed leader gets sick uh, and she gets her fucking ass beat in the rain. And then... That was decent, too. Like, <laughs> that's... like I, that's the thing that annoyed the hell out of me about the show. It's just like, you could have been good. You you had all the tools to be something <laughs> like, that was that's great. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why they should have started with this. So then it could be like, oh, okay, it's, it's you know, yeah. But then... Start strong, finish weak is better than finish strong well a lot of people i'm pretty sure were just like done with the show once they found out because they didn't announce it until like episode nine that was gonna be 12 episodes and everyone was just like how how are you gonna end it this way like yep oh yep and it's 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 really really dumb because they (laughs) so what really pissed me off was that they try to focus on the girl in the beginning and then they switched it off and talked about the guy in the beginning. Like they really focused on the guy. It's like this is the guy you need to worry about, actually, because okay, he's then. like he's literally like the smartest, most like they try to like tease at his backstory. Like he's from like he's like a factory made boy or some shit like that. What I don't know what the fuck's going on. So wait, wait, wait. Uh, if you ever this... go ahead. No, no, continue. I'm fucking con- yeah, no, no, no. I was gonna say, and I'm pretty sure Loha can agree with this. I'm not sure if Mark watched it, but you ever watch uh, Hamatura? Yeah. Uh, He's like nice. Part of that. Essentially. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Like that's that's what rang in my head because it did kind of look like him, but that's not you know different you know attitude I mean. completely. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's the most deadpan guy ever, and he's he acts like he doesn't give a fuck, but then like his actions make it seem like he gives a fuck, but he actually really doesn't give a fuck at all. Yep. Like, like literally his his like so whatever happens at the end, and then he's talking to the girl, the the you know his I guess his co-star basically, and she's like, oh hey you didn't have to do all that shit, but it's not like I like you or like you know like it's classic Cinder moment, and she's just <laughs> like <laughs> she's just like but you know just because you know you you make it seem like I'm the I'm the great person to be around and make me have friends and shit like that doesn't mean I like you or, you know, I want you to be my ally, some shit like that. And he's like, he's having this inner monologue with his deadpan face. He's like, it's like, nah, you got it all wrong, girl. It's like, I, I don't even like you. I don't like this other chick. I don't like any of them. It's like, I'm just gonna I don't give a all shit. Y'all. It's, exactly. He it literally just says, fuck all of y'all. It doesn't matter unless I win. As long as he wins at the end. Yeah. As long as I win, that's it. That's all that matters. I'm just like, that's fucking what? hilarious. Like, that's, Oh god, it's, it was really frustrating. Because if they if they started with that arc in the three episode test, it would have been fine. Like really? Yes and no. The first arc can stay. The first arc can stay. I hated the second arc. The first arc Worst. can stay. The second arc was unnecessary. It's so chop it up, put that in there, and then have like this battle at the end, or like some kind of unveiling of his true potential oh, like, yeah of... that's what triggered me the most because it's supposed to be psychological and that the last arc was the only psychological part you watched the wrong show with the red um school outfits you gotta watch kakegurity that's where the psychological shit was <laughs> yeah. it's right there psychological it's it's one of the it's options. not here it's comedy romance drama down here <laughs> it's the, right. it says it on my anime list. So, <laughs> with that show, you know, we we have our opinions. It's it's not my cup of tea. I wanted yeah, it to y'all... be, but then they put too much sugar and decided to take the coffee out and just leave the sugar. And I was like, <laughs> all right, what the fuck's this? Um, they said, do you take want cream with that? Out. And I was like, where's the coffee? But you know, fucking whatever. strain the coffee after you put sugar in. Yeah, like I was triggered. So that's, yeah, that, that's that anime is really triggering. 
I should have put that in my uh, my my uh, article. Assessment. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> Nick. Yes. Would you like to talk about this wonderful anime that is no. Hajimete no Gal? <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> no. All right. I don't have enough fucking anger and time in the world to go about this. So, I'm just gonna tell you straight up to don't worry. absolutely avoid this shit. Just honest to God, save yourself the goddamn time because. The manga, it may be completely different. People say in the manga it's actually kind of a sweet story. The anime is not a sweet story. The anime is the anime them is trying to sell Blu-rays to... yep. exactly and um, have titties the size of watermelons on girls that look like they're 10. These right here. For zero reason. Yep. All right. Zero reason. <laughs> Absolutely So unnecessary. then we can move on, you know, because yes, when, when I fucking watched it, I was like, Oh, okay. I can get down with this girl right here. She's pretty cool. <laughs> I got no issues with that. And then this girl came out of Food Wars and decided to be in this one instead. I don't <laughs> understand her. Like, People gotta oh, stop she, doing that. Shit. She's just super gay for her best friend. That's it. Yeah, People and she's willing to fuck her his her boyfriend just to. Oh. Yeah, she will. She would fuck her best friend's boyfriend. To the point where he would be gay, which I thought was hilarious. I was like, I, I'm going to fuck you, so you're never going to want to fuck a woman again. I'm like, all right, okay. Does that mean you fucked him really good or really bad? That's literally my only. That was my takeaway from that. So, is there any other shows that only like one person is watching? Nights of Magic is that just Sloha? Probably just me. Maybe. You too, Mark. NTR. Okay, so Loha, you can talk about Nights and Magic, and I'll go to NTR. Oh, I don't really want to talk about it. We we can't. Right, talk it was about garbage. It. Uh, right. it was it was pretty. It was pretty. Yeah, that, we remember that time in the beginning of this. We said, remember when we said summer was. Wait, where shit? the hell is it? Yeah, well, uh, probably at the very end. It's a short. It's a short. Oh yeah, it's a short. So it's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. It's way past all of those. <laughs> yeah, it's a short. Oh, there it is. Okay. But in the this shorts, is the, this is good shit. The Yuri shit right here. There's some of that good right there. shit. All right, go ahead. There's that TQ right there. <laughs> Damn it, Nick. Shut up. TQ's funny. <laughs> you were saying, uh, Mark? Uh-huh. Oh, um, yeah, it's, it's actually, like, it's pretty shit. I think, um, I don't know, the, like, the fight scenes could have been, like, okay, I... Oh god! Like for for an action mech, it was really really bad. The story didn't line up. Well, it did, but it just wasn't that fun to watch. Good. Yeah, it wasn't. It was just whatever. I hated the main character. You know, it's 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 that it's a, a feminine looking protagonist because he's like thirteen years old or whatever. And uh... like, are we talking feminine like the girl from Hajime no Gal or? No, we're talking feminine like. Like Oren High School Club. Oh. Nah. Not for me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there was like I'd... certain shows that screamed out, Kenny, like, stay away. And that was one of them. That one and uh, Isekai Shokudo. Oh, the and fucking diner thing. Isekai wa Smartphone. Uh, do domoni, fuck that, yep. and yep. anything with away. isekai next to it, I'm like kind of done with right now. <laughs> so yeah, I never ended up finishing isekai shokudo. Good. Like I got four. That's episodes a meal in. you won't want to finish. It was. Uh, it was let, me, let me clarify this to you, just to put it in perspective. That's a show Christian is addicted to. Let's just leave it at that. So if you don't know who Christian is, he's one of our friends that is um oddly friends. <laughs> oddly friends it, it, it like concerns us that we actually talk to this guy as much as we do because he is a uh, batshit crazy he tends to do google things melon pawn you wouldn't on youtube of. that is that is the definition of this man no melon pawn's delicious no have you no have not, no. No, no, no 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 the german no, dude no no the german no. I'm, talk, I'm talking about bread <laughs> Don't, don't actually Google I'm talking about cookie dough <laughs> bread in yourself. Japan. Google, Google melon pot is delicious. For the right. love of don't. God. Do not do that. So <laughs> that That's my clip, that's my clip of the week. Mark, Kenny saying melon pot NTR. is delicious. <laughs> do, you, do you want to save it for when you get to shorts? Or... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's the last one that 
each of us are watching separately. Oh, I actually have one. I forgot. Kakeguri. I think I'm the only one watching it. Oh, that I'm, watched it. I'm behind. So, if you are one that loves good manga, you can skip this anime and just read. <laughs> if you... <laughs> If you are willing to watch To be it, honest, I, I feel like that too. I feel like I would enjoy it more if I read it. It is a great adaption. I'll say that first and foremost. It's a great adaption, but because it's such a great adaption, why watch it when you could just read? Aha. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, um, personally... I feel like we need that, that one dude meme where he's just like... Yeah. Yeah. Um, but... This series, like, I always have a lot of faith in MAPPA and everything they do, really. So, when this first came um, to fruition, I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, this series looks interesting. And it was. Like, the first episode was enough to kind of suck you in. But you really have to, like, kind of pick it apart to really see, like, what's great about it. Um, But, like, overall, I think it's a really good battle school anime. Kind of like Food Wars, Kill a Kill, and all those other series. So, if that's, like, something you're into, then definitely give it a shot. Um, but the anime does capture what the manga is trying to do. But it does have an anime-only original ending. So, Ooh. I will spoil it right here, right now, because that's the kind of guy I am. So, if you don't want to hear the spoilers, just, uh, you know, cut to whenever the hell you see me not talking about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so or if you're watching uh live then just walk away and get some melon pawn so with this series go put melon pawn in your mouth the two um front <laughs> front woman here we have um i think it's jube i think it's jubami or jib i don't know i still Jubami. say her name but she is addicted to gambling in a school that's controlled by gambling and after this crazy event happens towards the end of the show, um, the school, the student council president comes out and they kind of say, all right, we're going to battle each other. In the manga, they don't. They set up like they're going to, but they don't actually do it. And then the anime, they, they do. They suck instead. So in the anime, they start the episode like they're about to set up for this battle. The battle starts. And it's this very simple game, but, you know, high reward, high loss for both teams. Like, they're pretty much wagering for whoever loses has to leave the school. That's it. Because that would hurt the most to both of them. So, Ooh. when one of them, uh, like, potentially can lose, the gra- the guy that is, like, the main character, like, the point of view that you're in, that whatever his name is, he steps in to help her. And he actually, like, kind of has, like, his declaration of love to her. It's, like, super short, and everyone's like, oh, like, the characters are, like, reacting to it, which makes it really good. But it ends in a draw. So you're like, what? So it's super underwhelming ending. So if you want to, you can completely avoid it. But I will say that if you do decide to watch it, it does end with it connecting straight back to the manga again. So right at the end, they have like a cut where they introduce the next big baddie. And that is actually in the manga. Like, it's just like they slipped it right in between the source material. Great filler. So, so like a point five great, chapter. It's filler that achieved and changed nothing. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. It did, Like nothing was touched. It was like perfectly fine. So, I'm okay with it, and I did start collecting the manga. I have volume one and two, and I'm going to start reading because it's really good. Uh, so, if you haven't done that, give that a shot. And is anyone else watching Koi Tusa? Or is nope. it just me? Oh, me and Mark. Not, okay. Mark, not caught yeah. up at all. So, oh, wait. Yeah, Koi Tusa. All right, so, Love and Lies, Koi Tusa, me and Mark are watching and we watched it and we both say fuck that show <laughs> mark i was talking to mark when he started watching it because we were like oh yeah look anime Am- amazon anime strike is all late again nothing new ha 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 <laughs> they posted it late in the night yeah or not and... that late but like later that evening and yeah. then i was like i might as well watch it now I told kenny i was watching it 
<laughs> and he was like, you know, I'm going to wait on this because I just don't want to be angry. <laughs> I think I watched it Friday when it comes out on Monday. That's how much I was like, nope. And I walked away with that same feeling of nope. Because this show <laughs> angers the hell out of me for so many different reasons. Like, um, I think I'm going to say it wrong. But um, On a scale of one to me, how angry were you? I was like, you, after reading some hateful comments on JoJo. Ooh. That okay. sounds, wow. Uh, sounds pretty hot. That's bad. So, yeah. the, main, right there. the main girl that he, he <sighs> falls for, Nejima. I actually remember his name, Nejima, I think it's. I think it's yeah. Or, yeah. So, that's his name. And he falls for this girl, short hair, who's a fucking bitch. I just hate her. I hate her so much. Wait, the dark hair girl? Yeah, she's stupid. She's a I love voice actress, but I hate this character I so hate much. Her so much. I can't stand her. And like they just made Holy her shit. extremely unlikable. I really wanted to like reach through this the fucking monitor and just like strangle her. Or like knock some sense in her. Like, I don't do that in real life, guys, just letting you know. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> only the only thing down drains. Yeah. You know. So yeah, like that triggered me. I'm not sure if like Mark's the same way about it, but like she is very annoying. While Ridina is dope as fuck, and mm-hmm. I don't know why there is even a competition between the two. If anything, bring the other guy in and have a real love triangle with that guy, yeah. Nejima and Ridina. That's how it should be. Yeah. Those are better relationships, like, hands down. A fucking mango. <laughs> it hurts my soul. Holy crap. And they end they... it open-ended. They're like, oh, yeah, we didn't make a choice. What? Ken, did you, you read the mango, right? Did you not get as far? I stopped. Because I didn't care okay. anymore. I ain't care. <laughs> I, ain't I, kinda, I don't actually know if that's how, like, the manga ended up going, but I think it's still ongoing. No, it's still going, yeah. So obviously it's not. Obviously there's more after it, but they just chose to end it, like the worst way. They acted as if there was closure, and then said no, nah. and they acted like there was real threat. End of the like in the beginning of the last episode, um, she's like, "Oh, I did some research, and we just got to break up." <laughs> what were we doing? What is this? <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <coughs> Oh. oh man, that sounds great. So that was my main issue with the show. Do you have any other gripes? It had a good premise to begin with. It had a really like, good opening. Like the, the other one you were talking about, like it could have been good. It could have been good. It had potential. Ugh, it just hurts. Like I... like if you remember um, a couple seasons ago, freaking Kuzun Honkai. I don't think that was bad. I'd rather no, watch that, that than this. That one's not bad. That one's an actual good, like, love dodecahedron thing. Oh, you're saying that that would be a good example. That's a, be- a good example of what shitty relationships. Be. Yeah. Shitty relationships. Yeah, like, I don't know. There was just so many things that went wrong. And it's like they had all the tools to do well, once again. And this... Just like gamers. This studio... <laughs> Leiden films they made Yamada and the Seven Witches so I'm like which yeah which was uh uh octa octa fucker yeah but it was a good adaption too I'm, did you watch the anime <laughs> octa fucker the anime is really good yeah so it's just like really frustrating but yeah like you said gamers you, you think that's bad you think gamers uh. is bad I I dropped it after five episodes. I remember you raging about that. Mark, why do you hate it? I'm Mark Nick, sorry. Gamers? Yes. Uh because as someone who's been in that situation of just miscommunications being the worst thing in the world, seeing it happen in such an orchestrated manner, I I can read into the fact that this has to have been someone who's been in something this convoluted and fucked and decided to actually serialize it into a show 
and that's something that I feel is retarded as all fucking hell. Uh, just the sheer amount of the one moment that really had me just pit. I haven't watched the last episode. I gotta do that. But the very the uh, the last episode I watched or two episodes before that, there was a scene where everyone came to terms with the fact that one of the guys, Amano, was just like obsessed with video games, and video games are always gonna be his priority. It doesn't matter if you're his girlfriend, his, his best friend, or the the side bitch who's in love with him. It doesn't matter. Video games trump this motherfucker's life. So at this realization, the girlfriend of the one guy in that group says, hey, what the fuck's wrong with you, you cheating piece of shit? Runs off crying and screaming. They chase her down. They're like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Like, it's not what you thought. He wasn't cheating on you. We were just talking about how Amano only gives a shit about video games. 30 seconds, not even 30 seconds, like three seconds later, in comes Amano. Like, oh, my God, yeah, you sent me a text message. And I was worried because you said you'd broken up with uh, Keita and... I was like, oh, yeah, shit, I need to come here. So the girl is, like, freaking out, like, ah, ha, ha, you're so stupid, you're so useless, you showed up late and you didn't even need to be here. And everyone else who just gotten done talking to themselves for about 15 minutes saying, we like this guy as a person because, you know what, video games are his life, but that's just who he is. And then here he is d ditching video games for this girl. So all of them literally just kind of, like, have that head tilted together and they're just like, what the fuck? So, and that just yeah i think that anyone that hated this show came in with the wrong mindset that's what i have come to that's my conclusion that i've come to i don't think it's as bad there were moments where i wanted to shoot myself but <laughs> I don't feel John like, Madden plays. and I think I am also in the boat where I came in with the wrong um, mindset because yeah, the first episode, it. I was like, why did I watch this? What is this? It was, it was good, but like, the second episode was really good, and I don't know what the fuck happened in episode three. Um, they like completely <clears throat> skipped like a whole episode, um, <laughs> but I think if you looked at it as like, a rom-com or something like that like sitcom rom-com you know what i mean like you're watching like good example i started watching the office i i don't think i would ever like the office but because i came in with the right mindset for it i like the office now i'm on season four and it's only been like a week <laughs> so it's like I, that's Wait, where british I, office or american office american oh, okay all right <laughs> So that's that's kind of where I fall with it, and with certain scenes, I think they have uh, some of the best scenes in anime of this season. When it comes down to character relations, like the moments that they're educating, um, the pink hair girl, are like some of the best moments. Like when they're trying to explain games, because you can't help but jump out of your seat and like agree, or like disagree, because they're like talking about. Like, she had this one point where she was like, yeah, so I think, like, they're just ripping you guys off. They're making you pay $60 for a game, and then they're making you pay for, like, $60 worth of DLC. <laughs> and then you go and get a collector's edition for it with um, some skins and stuff. Like, the whole conversation in episode 5 is, not 5, um, episode 12 is great. So, I think if you don't watch any of the show, but then watch 12 because it's, like, everything that we wanted, you'll probably like it. Or, like, I think the opening is still one of the best openings of this year. Yes. Not just season. I think it's one of the best openings of the year. I like the, the OP. Year. I do like the OP of it's, gamers. It's quality. So, tell me something. How many times do you see the other gamer club members after episode five? They're unrelated. Exactly. But that's what's, what's... so good about it. But what's the, the point? The is surprisingly nothing to do about you. What's the I'm point? I'm okay with that. You got, you got that kid from the class, right? The other kid, the, the normal yeah, guy, the shooter guy, and then the fighter girl, and you just never see them again. So I think the normal guy comes up later. The whole explanation makes zero sense. No, no, no. So, Nick, watch the last episode. Okay, Talk to okay. me. Because in the last episode, they bring up that guy, the normal guy. Okay. And you get to see where where he comes from in the whole the story. prodigy no like they have like I this whole background God, story if, it's great if that's real is that real 
What? His background story that's actually serious. What background yeah, story? The background story of, of the the kid who's only good at puzzle games because he like has no memory and shit. Yeah, you, when you find that's out all of his, fucking it's retarded. great. It's great. So like the, when they said that shit in the first episode, I was like, wait, what? It's like the girl's like, oh yeah, she plays fighting games because she's like looking to fight and win back like her best friend, her best childhood friend who turned to evil. And it's like the uh, the first person shooter dude was like born and raised a mercenary or some shit like that. They had like all these fucking retarded backstories and never expanded on them. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. So you know, th- thinking back on it, I think maybe I did hate it because I was like misled. But it feels that way. It does. Yeah, feel but that way. you definitely feel like you're misled. But I don't think it's my like type of humor anyway. Yeah. Like even if I like looked at it as a romance comedy, yeah, I can, I can, yeah, okay, whatever. But I don't think it's my type of comedy. And the like the one, what, what did you say? The second episode. The second episode was the best. It was like the best it is version hilarious. of romance comedy. It is hilarious. Yeah. And I just, you know, whatever. Like it doesn't matter anymore because I, I understand misunderstandings, but it's like when it keeps piling on, it just doesn't. Feel good when your show is nothing but misunderstanding it's yeah it just it just doesn't feel good to watch anymore like i was yeah, legit it's like five five to seven minutes into episode five and i was like nope I, I knew this was gonna happen can't watch it is that the is that the one with the whole final or final but the big confession and all that shit where they're all like looking at each other like if he's looking at me then that means uh he's cheating and then he's like oh she's great. looking at me that means oh, she's man. cheating I'm like, you stupid fucks, just say something. It's actually retarded. Yeah, but yes. like, there's like the same... <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't say the word. That also comes with like... Other series do the same thing, like Dragon Ball Z. Good example. Actually, they could solve these issues so much easier if they just fought together. Like, that's like yes. the whole thing about Resurrection <laughs> of F. Yeah, like, but say, oh, the, Goku the and Vegeta. Movie. You know, if we actually fought them together, Vegeta, we probably could have beat them sooner. Oh, I know, and I don't care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Moving damn, on. That headache. New game two. Uh, oh, all right. Finally, something I can I can be happy about. So, new game. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Because I can't think of a way. Uh, besides literally saying it twice as, like, twice as exciting. You say season as two. New game. Shout yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Because otherwise possible. it's like, new game or new game. Like you got double New up on game. it. Like double. And then the third season's gonna be fucking three exclamation marks. Like, <laughs> you pieces of shit. But New Game again. This, I still love that shit. Nah, because... so it's gonna be called Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so a lot of people brought up a good point. They said, Wow, what a waste of opportunity. They could have uh... called it New Game Plus. Oh yeah, that would have been nah. a wasted opportunity. No, nah, it's because they they made but a new series. It's a new, it's a new game. Yeah, that's new, what I was gonna say. Is legit, that, that's the whole legit a new game and not yeah, just, just a, game. a, a yeah. new game plus would bring it the back to the third version. Which I think new game plus will kind of make sense in the next one if they do what I think they're doing, which is fairies four. I don't think they said they're doing fairies, which is gonna be good. And a huge thing that appealed to me on this was I I just kind of did an ad hoc article on this about um, software development in for Labor Day because I thought that was appropriate. And I honestly really enjoy watching this show because I watched like the first half of season one. And then as season two was rolling around, I started watching it again and again. And, I, and then I caught up and I just finished it as it came out. And this show is actually really good. It kind of addresses a lot of things that um, uh, we can pretty much all kind of test to. Working in software. Uh, trying to get things out there and done. There's one moment where uh, uh, Nanichi, uh, the, the very childish friend, learns to code and she teaches herself how to code. And I've kind of been doing that myself. And it's funny because she goes on about how it's like, I now know how to develop feel. Uh, when they just pray and hope that no one finds their bugs. And I thought that was super funny because I'm like, that that's something if you've ever coded or like really coded 
or really done anything in software development, you think to yourself, oh shit, I really hope no one finds any of these bugs or like these defects aren't present. And it's a really, it, it's, it hits home because you, you will know that feeling if you've done it before. Mark's over there laughing and giggling because I know he feels the same. Kenny, I know, can attest to that. He once hit the Konami code in one of raps. What? <laughs> you, you, what the fuck is wrong <laughs> with you people? You people? I, I yes. didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, my supervisor at the time did it. But what happens when you enter it in? An alert box will pop up saying, Mark says he's the best. <laughs> It yeah, didn't yeah, that's fun. Fun. thankfully, but it was oh, like okay. published to the test okay, server, good. so right. the clients could have seen it when they were testing. So did you branch? Did you like actually make the Konami code branch, like, uh, uh, or did you just sneak it no, in and just, just revert that in, after? I didn't ping it. Like I said, I didn't make it. He just checked it in, like along with like unit tests. Oh, but then he then he probably just pulled it. But out then he pulled pull it out and wrote it. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. I'm like, how the fuck do you do that and put it to test the, the testing server and not like get caught doing that? That's bad. I um. Anyway, with new game, I think my biggest thing is yeah, it's super relatable with like our work environment workflow, but when you actually like get into the separate characters and like how they're all developing like in different places, like um. Hifumi, like, became, Becoming like... Becoming the, the manager, or character team lead. Yeah, and not even just that, yeah. but she actually came completely outside of her box and uh, yeah. did something where she had to communicate with everyone, where she's, like, super to herself. She was only IMing people in the first season. She was never yes. talking to anyone. That, and then yeah, you have they... Yagami, who, like, completely steps out of her box uh, and goes to... What is it? Light Kun? I forgot where she God went. France. It's crazy, man. Like, there's just so much shit happening. Yeah, no, that that whole show, it's really, it's really cool because one thing, one of my favorite shows, and I know Kenny liked it too, was Scrubs. And one of the things I loved about it was, as time went on, you saw them all grow through their careers. Like, they became residents, then attending physicians. They did their fellowships. Uh, eventually, one of the one of the main characters ended up becoming the chief of surgery. And that's kind of where this show is kind of leading to, where you see the progression of growth of these characters. It's literal character growth where they're they're growing in their careers. It's really cool because it's nice to know that you're watching these characters, and if they spend forty weeks on Snake on uh, Snake Way, they're gonna come out of this fucking senior executive manager of Saiyans, not just some dude that's screaming Kaioken times three. Yeah. So, I just realized, a lot of you, a lot of Monogatari series, well, the the newest part of Monogatari series, is so low on this list. Oh, but yet, where is it? But yet, this uh, show is like or top twenty in my anime list right now. It's like, right cool. to Ballroom, which is right after Nights and Magic. Yeah, what is going on? Um, these so, list things are kind of weird. Yeah. So, welcome to the ballroom. Go on blackandyellowotakugamers.com. <laughs> the first article on there should be my mid-season review. If you haven't watched it, you might not want to read too much of it, but yeah, give that a shot because you will hear some good shit. So, me and Loha are watching that. How do you feel about it since you just caught up? It is... It is exactly what I wanted to see from that anime. Do you think they would like it? As in our other co-host? No. No? Really? No. You one because, Nick, like does, one because Nick doesn't watch sports anime. Wait, um, welcome to the ballrooms of sports anime? Yeah. I, I would describe... Sport. Bonus is not a sport. I, I think, I don't know. I think I Mark mean, would enjoy. Yeah, one to ten. I, would I, enjoy I, the animation I, and music collaboration. What was that? I'm sorry. But I mean, it's production IG. I, yeah. 
I do enjoy their stuff. I just haven't started watching this one. It's that's, also that's... being compared to your name for no, you must say your name. Um, your line, April. I don't know why. Huh. Really? Yeah. I was about to pull an Elson, but I'm 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 <laughs> I'm gonna so, not. <laughs> with the show, when I first started watching it, I was like, I I said this in my article too. It's just like I come in with the um the mindset that I'm getting like another version of High Q because I really needed my High Q fix. It's been so long since like the last season ended, even though it was like two seasons ago or three seasons ago, but. You know, it just feels like it's been that long for me because I loved it so much. And I know that it's probably not going to be out the next season until like a year or two from now. I, so, I think it's going to be fall 2018, maybe. Uh, maybe. If we're lucky. So, Quick question. Mm-hmm. Uh, does it feel more like a sports anime or more like a music anime? When I say I music just, anime, I mean like I just title it a shonen. Like that. If it's uh, a shonen. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. It I'm is. Confused. It is. It is shown it? It's, it's ballroom. A ballroom dip. Shut up. It's comedy. No, I'm confused. It's it's labeled uh, on my anime list as comedy, sports, drama, romance, school, and shonen. It is it is shonen because you follow a boy who falls into yeah. ballroom as a as a I guess a gateway. You know he's he kind of gets bullied, whatever, right? Completely completely out of the scene as soon as he starts dancing, and then he becomes. He realizes that oh, I could actually do this, and you know it just goes up from there. Yeah, I might give that Nick, a shot. Nick, I think you're confused with Shonen because Shonen, when you're probably thinking of it, is more of like the whole like Naruto style. I think Shonen Jump, yeah. Whereas, that's, that's whereas Shonen is just mainly just targeted towards the what was it, but 60, the twenty audience. Yeah, it's the younger boys, yeah. But even that, well, it scales that, up like any confused. other Shonen. It does, yeah, like. Man. The... That's interesting. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, he you've finds, he finds his feeling. You actually managed to intrigue me to this. He he finds his groove. He finds a rival. He finds a girl he likes. He finds another rival, and then he finds another girl he likes. And then uh, I forgot his tutor, his mentor, uh, who is the best fuck. He's one of the best fucking mentors I've ever seen. It's fucking hilarious. I love that guy. Man, the way he just described it right there sounds exactly like a sports anime. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm waiting for you to be like, oh yeah, they beat the shit out of that guy, and then they become best friends afterwards. Oh no, he beats the shit out of himself. There's this one scene <laughs> that I want to show everyone in the world because it's something I never like. It caught me off guard so bad I didn't know how to deal with it. Okay, but, wait, I want to see. I want to see if it's the scene I think it is. So ahead, when wait. the instructor is finished dancing, and oh. like uh, the main character, he goes to watch him, and he's just like, "Well, I'm out of his league," you know, he's blown away, and. He's with his partner, like the instructor. So the way that he was dancing was a little like, you know, out of the ordinary and it was like a little too much. So she like slapped him like really hard. She slapped the shit out of him and he's just like this. And he sat there for a second. And in your head, you're like, oh, he's just going to take it. He's just going to deal with it. He fucking judo chops her like this. Like, <laughs> and, and I just didn't know how to deal with it. I was like, whoa, <laughs> this has actually happened. Even though it was just anime, I just didn't expect it. And then, like, they actually start fighting. Like, actually fighting. It's great. That's that's fucking beautiful. Yeah. So Holy shit. There's a few different scenes that, like, that... There's show there's so there's good. one scene where one of his rivals, he's like... You know, he comes up to me, he's like, You know what? I dance like a piece of shit because of you. Because of your dance. And then he, like, gets all pissed <laughs> off. And then he's like... Bam! He pushes the shit out of himself and he like lays himself on, on the floor. I was like, "Holy shit!" That was so such he, a like, hardcore. Punch. Like he punches he, himself. Yep, and he like knocks himself on the floor. All right, you guys have sold me. I, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this it, a shot. That I don't know if that. God, it didn't feel like a shitty animation. It was just like really quick, and you just saw the. You you you're oh, left you, wondering. You, like if you that guy you felt that like, yeah you felt the impact like, of him punching himself. To watch. Don't be surprised if I catch up next week. <laughs> no, like, it's it's very good. I think that uh, if might, anyone I can, might. like, it has such a grand structure, in my opinion. Like, when I first watched it, like, that first episode, I feel like I can just kind of, like, package it and just hear, like, try it, yeah. see what you think. And then I feel like, meh, you know, at least give it, like, three episodes because I feel like it's definitely worth it. So, yeah. So, now, with that show, if you're going to watch it, 
you know, do it soon because the second core is starting right now. And it seems like it's going to be a very eventful second core. Is it a German arc? You just say it's a German arc? Is it a tournament arc? Oh, a tournament. It was like, like, yeah, tournament. Yeah, tournament arc. Um, I feel like this series is nothing but tournament arcs. <laughs> I feel like it's just right. going to be tournament, tournament arc, tournament arc, tournament arc. But it's like I mean, you know, they all play together so. at the same time. So it's like a group stage and then you know, they go into semis and finals and all that good shit. Interesting. Yep. Oh, it's fucking beautiful, by the way. Huh? Like it looks it's, good. The the anime itself is it's it's fucking beautiful. Like on top of like if we're just looking at the competitions and the way like people dress, like the art style is very, very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the uh, animation yeah. only com- uh, complements the manga um, <clears throat> art style. Because if you look at the manga art style, it's kind of rough. Versus this, like, it really just brings it to life. And you really should expect this kind of quality from production IG, like, always. So, yeah. Top, uh, yeah, they're really good. Uh, so, I feel like there's nothing else in here that we should be talking about, to be honest. I think the only no other full length, one... No full-length, at least. Yeah, I was going to... Wait, what? No full-length shows, at least. Well, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, like... I was going to go yeah. to this. Um, so, before we go to TV shorts, because that's going to be one thing... We haven't talked about the mother leftovers, man. We haven't talked about my hero, recreators. That's it. Well, soccer. Yeah, sure everybody already knows those are the shows you need to watch. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are those watch are the legit just, shows. Just fucking watch them. If you so, already, just, we've already written a great them. article on recreators when that finished up. Quality. Yes. Definitely the show to watch. Mm-hmm. Those those are the shows you wake up in the morning to watch, and then yeah. you come into school on Monday and you be like, "Yo, did you watch this show?" That's, that's what happened. That's actually the best way I've ever heard that described, Loha. Thank you. That's exactly so, what those are. There's a few things. Those I are those say. like four kid. Was it uh four kids or was the Fox the Fox Kids shows that you watch Saturday morning? That's absolutely yeah. right. So. Recreators, we're not going to touch because you should be watching. If not, you're an idiot. And you uh, should have, you should be dumb. Yeah, so you should watch it. Watch it. So that we're not going to talk about because there's already an article for that too. Before I talk about my hero, I do want to m- mention Virgin Soul really quickly because I'm a, I'm a little on edge about it. <laughs> this show had the potential to be one of the best anime, uh, adventure anime I've seen in a long time. One of the best. You know why then, it stopped being the best? Second core just went ape shit. I don't know what was going on. There was like some good ape shit, bad ape shit, bad bad ape shit. Only because things took a really dark turn for a lot of different characters. Some died, and like some characters uh, that are long. It's kind of died. the darkest of turns, I, I would say. Yeah. And like the very last episode, spoilers to anyone. Um, I'm saving you some time if you are in that situation. But they resurrect Bahamut. They kill Bahamut. <laughs> at, the, the at the risk of Bahamut dying. Like, the reason... When Bahamut dies, the thing that keeps... You know, like, the story the way it is, is, like, Nina, the main character, she fell in love with the king. Which is, the king's the one that's trying to bring Bahamut back, and they kill it. So, they use this machine, which then takes one of their senses, or, like, a part of them. He already used it once, so he lost sight in one eye. They used it again oh. together. He lost sight in the other eye. She lost her voice. Oh, they killed sucks. Bahamut, but they lost the ability to see each other and, you know, talk to each other. But they ended the show with them dancing together. And I was just like, oh my god, Mappa, why are you like this? Because Mappa does this a lot, apparently. But I just really want to mention that. And then just at the end of all of that, Bahamut wasn't dead. <laughs> so that's, so that's one on. of my frustrations. <laughs> Everyone knows you got to sacrifice yourself to summon the final, the, to create the final summon. Yep. My hero. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. You yeah. already know it all. Yeah. Plus Ultra. Plus Ultra. And Aho Girl and City Duty Children, watch that shit. Yeah, we've, NTR, we've written, don't watch that shit. We've uh, yeah, out of the shorts, we have two articles for both of those. 
Only two? For me and I, you? I think I, for me and I you. I thought we you. both made like two articles on them. No, for Sere Dune and Aho Girl? Two. One for me and one for two. you. Oh, okay. For some reason, I felt like... Both articles were talking about both. Yeah. Yeah. And then Nick... They're both yeah. actually really good articles. Mark also made the NTR one. Yes. Don't watch it. It's a waste of time. Uh, TQ. But you should read it. Watch it's a TQ. Short. It's a waste of time. I'm yeah. like losing my mind every time you say TQ. I'm like, what the fuck is this show? What are you talking about? And I'm like, oh, it's right, it's right, right below NTR. Yeah. It's funny shit. It's good shit. All right. So I wish there was like a black box I could put over it. I mean, you're 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 uh, driving the, the thing. Yeah, so no, very, I'm, not, uh, I'm not gonna do that. It's too much work. <sighs> if I still had like one of those like chibi characters, I could just kind of throw on it. I would. Yeah, just have like an icon, in the way. Yeah, buy, yeah. buy the black and yellow Taco Gamers Blu-ray. Yep. Um. <laughs> so, seriously, shorts were actually pretty interesting this season, as much as NTR wasn't. You know, Aho Girl and Sude Dude Children. Even if you haven't watched it this season, you should, probably should, you know, take the time Dang. to really watch it because it's only like 12 minutes per. Those two shorts absolutely destroyed this season. They like oh, yeah. <laughs> capped it all off. And they are the best, like some of the best shows that we've seen this season, even though they're shorts. Oh, yeah. Top five easily. Easily. So, yeah, watch this shit and, you know, vote for the best relationship. You know, I'm not I holding... rec- any favorites or anything but you know just pick the best one for you well, it's obviously going to be yoshiko and akun because that's the best couple <laughs> oh yeah i forgot the best couple is one where you can uppercut your significant other and send her flying off into a building yep same because uh domestic violence is legal in japan <laughs> <laughs> well apparently remember the what i just told you oh, i mean they punch down kids <sighs> down a drain so well, <laughs> you know what it's into. I'm like, I'm like the real ass man. Just... All right, so oh, we're going to close really it out here because, you know, we all got some stuff to do tonight. But just wanted to say thank you so much for checking out our blog and all of our shit. You know, checking us out on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> all the great things. We really appreciate everything. And yeah, uh, we should be see, see some stuff from us daily. We've been doing pretty well on that. And I should be going to see No Game No Life Zero tomorrow. Woo! So I'll probably have my article on Friday about it. So, yeah. Look out for that. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful evening. And bye-bye. Later. Later, guys. Peace.